Hello again and welcome back to another one and today we have a couple of topics to cover one from the game who's facing backlash from some hip-hop fans for who he has reportedly sided with when it comes to Drake versus Kendrick Lamar and it got to the point that game even had a back and forth with a user on social media over this and we'll expand on this in a moment and we also have more from the game who also addressed Dr. Umar's take on Eminem that Eminem cannot be one of the best rappers of all time because he's not African and Game's take on this included what could be interpreted as a sneak diss towards Eminem similar to what Asher Roth did in an interview years before Eminem dropped MMLP2 and I'll be looking forward to your thoughts on if it was a sneak diss. And today we also have more that's come from Drake's beef with Rick Ross and apparently Drake didn't listen further to Rick Ross's champagne moments as soon as he heard the bar when Rick Ross rapped got more money than you and we gotta find out about this thanks to the Rory and Maul podcast. Hit Drake and like see where he's at I'm like how you feel about you know <laughs> the Ross record I'm really trying to gauge him like damn he kind of stepped in he was like he said he was richer than me and I turned it off. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not what Ross said though. The reason why Ross changed his voice when he said that bar is because he was impersonating Drake. Like basically Drake is saying, I got more money than you. And Ross is like, fuck you want me to say? Like, yeah. No, I got no, this house, like, yeah. fuck you want me to stay? He like, and things have gotten quite luxurious in this beef as Rick Ross shared this to Drake. White boy, white boy, BBL Drizzy, I got a question. I saw you posted you got more money than Ricky Rose. And let's assume you did Well, your best friend, Birdman, his house went into foreclosure five years ago. You done watched that man struggle them five years and ain't get that man a mansion. Because if you got more money than Rose, what's another 50 million, white boy? White boy, it's one for 40 on Indian Creek. It's one for 50 on Star Island. You got 48 hours, white boy. If you got Ricky Rose money, ain't none of my niggas winning foreclosure. Come on, white boy. I'm finna bust a bottle, white boy. Don't do stunner like that. Come on, man. What happened to that? 48 hours, the countdown has begun. And that old ass jet you got, they gave it to you free. That's a 1978. Be safe on that, Drizzy. Be safe on that plane. That old motherfucker. God is great. And after Rick Ross posted a video of Drake's mansion in Beverly Hills going up for sale, Drake responded to his DM about it with this lengthy post. And first, check out the caption. Look how I talk to this turkey. Laughing emoji. He should have just asked for another feature. And it goes, imagine having 88 million to spend on a crib. Laughing emoji. Your ish be steals like you got him from a police auction. Your star island house on a sliver of cheesecake. Laughing emojis. Your lot 40,000 square feet. My crib 40,000 square feet. Leonard and you put a wrap on your timeshare jet. That is coming off when it is other people turn to fly. Your bread bearish worker. How many cases you gotta move before you gotta check finally. Laughing emoji. Ish probably took a lifetime to see some real bread. Your bread son now. You're not rosé anymore. And just in case you're wondering who is bread and why is he Rick Ross's father? Well, if you notice, Rick Ross is always holding up a Luc Belair sparkling wine in his videos. Well, Brett is CEO and creator of those wines. And users on the web believe this beef is now at a territory where us mad morals can't comprehend and this went viral. I'm not rich enough to understand this humor. But when you realize that Rick Ross's entire persona is based on hey, I'm so much richer than everyone as he can no longer push the drug kingpin persona, well, he's met his match in this. As a few months ago, this was his go-to when he tried to use 50 Cent to sell his collab album with McMeal. Check out a snippet from back then. And I was I like, yo. Fifty Cent and, and Ross ever gonna they getting so rich? Well, Ross getting no, no, so he rich. Not. Yeah, yeah. I about to say, I don't not. know his business. And I'm I ain't got no, and I ain't got no jobs for him or nothing. You're not hired. No. Nah. I don't think you need a job, but I, I'm sure you do. Few moments later, we sell thirty one thousand in nine CDs. I shouldn't talk to you. And 
Drake took it to the next level with this post. Drake, you sandwiched in, which is on brand, cause the vacant land not yours, laughing emojis. This is the Miami starter pack, you living in a content creator crib. The beef is certainly above our pay grade at this point, but between Drake and Rick Ross, this is certainly interesting to watch. Since like I said, Rick Ross's usual go-to when he's beefing with people is that he's richer, and I'll be looking forward to your thoughts. Moving on, the game recently shared Drake's song Energy on IG and added the caption, I got rap dudes that I gotta act like I like, and users on the web wasted no time to go off. The game is siding with Drake against Kendrick Lamar. He shared Drake's energy, broadcasting the lyrics on the 2500 Kododama speaker. The game once stood on stage with West Coast greats like Corrupt and Snoop Dogg as Kendrick Lamar cried while being passed the torch in 2010. And while games been getting blasted with takes like LOL, he flips and flops like always, a hater gonna hate, and more, the game is mad the west coast don't love him like we love Kendrick. He could never be the level of a lyricist or artist Kendrick is, he's pathetic and he's going out sad. But game hating on Kendrick and siding with Drake isn't new, as some have called for users to do their homework as this went viral. Lyrics from Game's song 100, where Game revealed he's got Drake and OVO covered in LA, he's got their backs. No, and on IG, Game got into it with a user over this, as when he was hit with this, you need to be worried about why your album flopped, instead of getting in other people's business, laughing emojis, to which Game hit back with, you need to be worried about why your face look like big toe with eyes on it, instead of in my comments trolling, and Game's got users coming for him on IG, you turning on Compton for this actor and more damn. This dude so mad at Dre, he going against Compton for likes, laughing emoji. And Game was recently on Vlad TV, and he was asked about his thoughts on Dr. Umar's comments about Eminem, and check out some snippets from the interview. I don't agree with, was it Dr. Umar? Dr. Umar Johnson. I don't agree with Dr. Umar with him saying that Eminem is undoubtedly one of the greatest rappers ever, for obvious reasons. Again, Michael Jordan probably can't even fucking dunk from the free throw line today. So if we want to say, well, Eminem's not great today, well, Jordan can't jump from the free throw line. Yeah. So it is. We all get older, and but that doesn't mean that we don't respect or understand the the magnitude of what somebody did when they were, you know, at their beginning and at their peak. So Eminem is for sure one of the best rappers ever. I don't give a fuck if he white, black, or whatever. Dr. Umar is seems to be pretty educated and he also has an opinion. So I mean I, I respect that you know his opinion, but I don't gotta fucking agree with it. I haven't seen Eminem in 20 years and we had our little, you know, back yeah. and forth, which is all good. But yeah, it, it still is what it is. I'm gonna keep it a buck. You know, I'm not gonna lie about it. Like Eminem is one of the greatest rappers of all time. He can take the sound bite, use it against me. I don't give a fuck. Like it, it is what it is. And the fact that game backed Eminem has sparked reactions like he didn't get the attention when he made a 10 minute love note to Eminem. So now he's grasping for attention again with Eminem's name, Skull Emoji. And just like 50 Cent suggested years ago, some have concluded game is bipolar. But what are your thoughts on game talking about Eminem like he's retired or something, using the Jordan reference while claiming he's older now? As if you remember, this is exactly why Eminem called out Asher Roth on Asshole from MMLP2, where Eminem called it a backhanded compliment. But over to you guys, share your thoughts below. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.